Mechanic Dan here with Runyon Surface Prep. And today we're going to talk about propane conversions and how you're going to convert your gasoline engine over to propane. The first conversion kit we're going to talk about is a small engine conversion kit known as the Snorkel Kit. This is a pretty low-tech, low-key way of doing it, but it's very cheap and not so efficient, but it's good for crack saws, small engines, and it really gets the job done when you need to get it done. You can also use your gasoline and your propane in different areas. So we're not converting it from gasoline to propane. You're gonna be able to use both, just not at the same time. We'll go from our propane tank to a small regulator, low pressure regulator. Get it from 100 pounds down to about five pounds. After that, we'll go into what's called a pancake regulator. This regulator actually controls the flow also with a flow valve on top. This is very important to get your engine to run right. You can have them running good at high speed or low speed, but sometimes you can have a problem getting them both. This also has a quick primer on it for easy starts in cold weather. Sometimes you need that, sometimes you don't. From this pancake regulator, the propane will work its way around into this snorkel. This is actually the jet of the snorkel, and that's important the size of this jet. As you put this up against your carburetor, it just sends propane into your carburetor, into your Venturi, through your carburetor, and into your engine. The two things that are really important with this is jet size and Venturi size. And we'll talk about that with other conversions as it gets more important. Our next conversion kit is a converted carburetor. Similar to the previous one, we actually take your original 290, 270, whatever carburetor you have, do away with the gasoline accessibility, and put a jet in the bottom of your carburetor and convert your original carburetor to accept propane. We have a jet here. We use your original Venturi, which is really important. So let's see how this one works. We actually come out of the propane tank into our T60 regulator. This regulator is really, really important because it has this safety feature on it. If you're not drawing vacuum from the carburetor that the engine's running, it will not let propane flow. This is a big safety issue that everybody needs to pay attention to. So it's a standard T60 with the safety. Your fuel will run through your T60, out your T60 regulator, and through your regular carburetor, and your Venturi into your engine. But it is controlled by your jet at the bottom. Your jet and your Venturi determine how your engine's gonna run. And you need to work with those to get an efficient running engine. Okay, our next conversion kit is what I call the manifold conversion. This is the creme de la creme, the king of conversions, until you get into electronic fuel injected. But we're gonna stay away from that because that's a whole different story. What we have here is you do away with your whole carburetor system and go with a brand new manifold. Brand new manifold replaces your old carburetor. No more gas, no, no more choke, no more butterflies like it used to be. What we have here is a manifold that bolts right in the same place. The two things that are very important are your jet size in the bottom of your manifold and the Venturi size in your manifold. These two things determine how well your engine's gonna run, jet size and Venturi size, and you can alter those up or down, bigger or smaller, however you want. So let's see how this conversion kit works. We come out of our propane tank into a very, very important lockout coil. Unless your engine is running, you have electronic control on this, you have a safety on this, your regulator will not let propane out. This is very, very important. You have to have your lockout coil in line with this. And there's a couple ways you can do this to keep things safe. Once it gets through your regulator, we come through the T60, go back into that lower jet that we were talking about that are in here, through the lower jet into the Venturi's, and into your engine. Venturi size and jet size is really important and I've measured to see what goes good with which, which engine and you really can't get a specific size per engine 
you actually have to do what the engine wants. So larger Venturis make for more power, but harder to start. Smaller Venturis, less power to start right up, good from low to medium speed, very little power. So be sure and figure out what your jet size and what your Venturi size is for the engine. The engine's gonna tell you what it wants. On all these, I've made a point to mention a safety aspect of all of these. This is really important. I know everybody likes to say they're a mechanic and would love to convert things and work with this, but please make sure you use a very knowledgeable professional when you go to hook up these propane systems, because if you don't put your safeties in right, you can fill a trailer full of propane or fill a room full of propane. Just have to be very careful. But remember, we have a propane conversion for whatever engine you want. And just give us a call and we'll hook you up. This has been Mechanic Dan with Runyon Surface Prep. Thank you.